Imagine yourself sleeping in your bed. You're off in dreamland, but somewhere along the way you smell smoke. It's almost like you're camping, but in your slumber something tells you to wake up, because you know that something is wrong. You wake up and look around and there's orange light coming from out the door. Then all of a sudden you see a window break. Jing bang crash, it's a firefighter. Hi, my name is Lucky, and I'm going to tell you about my cousin Jason. He risks his life every day to get people out of situations they couldn't handle by themselves. You might think of firefighters as something we learn about when we're in kindergarten, and we think it's really cool. When we were young, we saw the action and sirens and noise, but when we get older, we just think of firefighters as a common thing out there, but not really something that is that important anymore. That is, of course, until you need them. Before we get to why Jason is an everyday hero, here's why Jason is so important to me. Every year we get to go out on a special trip that most people in my family love to do. That thing that most people in my family love to do is offshore fishing and shark fishing on the beach. I've caught two seven-foot nurse sharks. He helped a little. Jason is the captain of good times. I love hanging out with Jason because he can make a good time out of anything. When we're out on the boat, he makes sure everyone else is having a good time and catching fish before he gets a chance to fish himself. Jason is not selfish. He's the opposite of selfish. He's selfless. I think Jason is a firefighter because he's very selfless. If you were a selfish person, you wouldn't be concerned about risking your life for other people. You would be concerned about your survival. The whole purpose of being a firefighter is to risk your life to make other people safe. I decided to interview Jason to find out more on what the life of a firefighter is all about. What I found out in talking to Jason was life of a firefighter is unpredictable. What I mean is you never know when the bell rings to expect a plane crash, worst possible case, or a grandma fell and can't get up, people need help all the time, or a cat got stuck in a tree. I don't think that happens very often. Before I interviewed Jason, I thought he could go into anything and not get scared, so I asked him, do you get scared? His answer surprised me because he actually does get scared. Can you believe my cousin, th Jason, the firefighter, the captain of good times, the fisherman rock star actually gets scared? He's mostly scared because he has the lives of others in his hands. He it's like lifting a huge weight, a quote from Franklin Roosevelt. Courage is not the absence of fear, but the decision that something else is more important than fear. That saying is the definition of what Jason does in his everyday life. Jason is also scared because he does not want people to die, doesn't want to die himself, and wants to get home with a smile on his face and say, I had a great day at work today to his family. Jason cares about other people a great deal, his family and friends, and even people he doesn't even know. That is my definition of selfless, having empathy, caring, compassion, and being in service to other people no matter what happens in the bearings. And I want you to do something that can impact the world today. You don't have to save someone from a fire. That takes a lot of training. You can be selfless today by giving someone you pass a smile or helping someone when they're not being treated fairly. Be like my cousin Jason, the captain of good times, the fisherman rock star, the firefighter. Thank you. Can you please come up on stage? Thank you.